Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is another Top 5 Best Stories video, and I hope you enjoy. Doctor Doom is the Fantastic Four's greatest enemy. Doom is one of Marvel's greatest supervillains, if not the greatest. Today, I'll be listing my list for the Top 5 Best Doctor Doom Stories. Doom is a very interesting and fleshed out character. Sometimes he does hero things, sometimes he's not even a threat, but most of the time his one goal is to destroy Reed Richards and save his mom from hell. Dr. Doom was a student in college with Reed Richards and Ben Grimm, who got kicked out because he was trying to do black magic. He left and was brought in by a bunch of monks. Soon, he learned everything he needed and built himself an iron armor. I can't wait to talk about this guy, so now on to the top 5 best Dr. Doom stories. Number 5 Interlude. This is a one issue event, Fantastic Four issue 258. In this issue, the Fantastic Four don't even appear. It's a Doctor Doom solo story, the first time the FF didn't appear in their own comic. Doctor Doom is in Liberia for this story. He has foregone any major schemes, preferring to concentrate on the rebuilding of Doomstra after the overthrow. Doctor Doom has an adopted ward named Kristoff. Surprisingly, Doctor Doom cares and is happy with this boy, a very unexpected side that Doctor Doom could have to many. One of Doom's scientists, called Hopman, eagerly invites his master to use the device immediately that he's been working on. However, Doom seizes the scientist and throws him in the chamber instead. The chamber was supposed to give Doctor Doom a bunch of cosmic power, but when Doom throws him in there, his body, the Hopman's body, is disintegrated by the raw energy. Doom uses that Hupman, who had long hated Doom for killing his brother, would have claimed the cosmic power for himself if he truly believed in the machine's safety. After having a Doombots kidnap Terax from a hospital, Terax, the former Herald of Galactus, Doom convinces Terax that he can regain his lost cosmic power, garbing the former Herald in a containment suit, he bombs Terax with the same radiation that destroyed Hupman. Terax leaves and Dr. Doom tells one of his Doombots that since the machine killed Hupman, it is still going to kill Terax, but thanks to Doom's containment suit on Terax, he has 5 hours of life left, and Terax beats the Fantastic Four, Dr. Doom will then destroy them. This story shows us a day in the life of Doom in Latveria, and the many great sides of Dr. Doom as well. This is a very unique story and worked well for a Dr. Doom solo adventure. It was a great issue in Dr. Doom's story. It showed how smart Dr. Doom is and powerful in the best ways in such a short, short amount of time, being it's just one issue. Number 4. Death to the Beyonder and Dust to Dust, Nothing to Fear This story took place in the last quarter of the first Secret Wars in Secret Wars issue 10-12. through 12. Thanks to all of Dr. Doom's willpower, he is able to take the Beyonder's powers, and let's just say, Beyonder is powerful enough to effortlessly move planets. With this power, Dr. Doom is able to do anything he wants. So it is Dr. Doom against everybody on Battle World. Except, Dr. Doom wants none of that. Now that he has all the power and no one can stop him, he has his own goals. One is that no one else wants, so he sends everyone home, and the battle is over. Victor Von Doom acts very superior here and explains that he just defeated Galactus and knows about everything that's happened to everyone and wants to help by letting Captain America have anything he wants. When Doom acts like this, these are my favorite moments. This story showed the most evil and sympathetic side of Doctor Doom. Doom is a step ahead of the rest of the Marvel Universe and is always looking to seize power and glory for himself, but he doesn't use the power for evil but for making himself feel good, which is what Doctor Doom tries to do all the time. Dr. Doom has fixed his face and can save his mother, and nothing bothers him or affects him enough to care about it anymore. My favorite villains are like this, ones who, if there's no hero in their story, they would still be entertaining to read about. Dr. Doom doesn't fight Captain America much in the comics, and this ending is amazing, which makes it an even better story. With Dr. Doom acting like a normal person, I feel happy for him that he got his face fixed and that he achieved his goal of ultimate power. This was a shock to me as a reader and the characters on Battle World with him. With all the heroes and villains in Secret Wars, Dr. Doom was the one who stood out. A fun fact, this story actually led to the first Dr. Doom action figure being made. Number 3. Doom Quest Nightmare This cool two-parter was in the Invincible Iron Man issues 149 and 150. When Doom's servant, Hopman, who secretly hates Doom for slaying his brother, explains that Stark has withdrawn the booster circuits, which they need to send Doom back farther in time, Doom prepares to deal with Tony Stark by himself. But Iron Man, being known as Stark's bodyguard, goes to Liveria to confront Doctor Doom. Iron Man battles him, but when they accidentally pause on the time machine platform, Hupman activates the device and sends them to the past, then he smashes the machines, joining them there in Camelot. 
Dr. Doom goes to Morgan Le Fay's castle and requests the witch's aid in rescuing his mother from hell. She agrees if Doom will help her kill King Arthur. Here, Dr. Doom is in his own for a lot of the issue. He makes it with just his brains and his armor, and that still makes him a powerful rogue to Iron Man. With that said, the fact that he is doing all of this just to save his mom is very telling that Dr. Doom is much, much more than just another supervillain. If Dr. Doom wasn't so obsessed with hating Reed Richards, he could be a perfect Iron Man foe. It was cool to see these two fight one-on-one -on -one and how Doom doesn't view Iron Man as a threat or anything, but at the end, even sees him as a similar genius. This is mostly seen as a Doctor Doom story, and it should be. He steals the show and does the most. This is a perfect Doctor Doom Iron Man story, the best one to date, and shows the potential of Doctor Doom as a character. Number 2. Enter Doctor Doom. The dismal dregs of defeat, Doomsday, the peril, and the power. This awesome story happened in Fantastic Four issues 57 through 60. Today, the Silver Surfer is meeting with Doctor Doom, having no idea who Doctor Doom really is or what he really wants. With his machines and manipulation skills, Dr. Doom manages to steal the Silver Surfer's cosmic power and now will rule the world. Dr. Doom surprises the Fantastic Four and they all fight around the forest and it's a cool battle and Doom ends up winning. Doom realizes that no one, not even his greatest enemies, can do anything to stop him, so he doesn't even bother to kill them, he just leaves after the fight. This is like the movie Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer and Dr. Doom is perfect in this story. There is also a great comical Dr. Doom moment. He's trying to get the Silver Surfer to trust and like him, so when a servant bumps into him, he doesn't kill him like normal, but stops and says he can take the rest of the day off. Accidents happen. Doom completely conquers over the cosmic-powered being, the Silver Surfer, and because of that, because of just Dr. Doom, Silver Surfer leaves Earth in issue 61, but anyway, the way Dr. Doom talks throughout this whole issue and story just makes him a perfect sinister threat, one the Fantastic Four deserve. The fights in this are groundbreaking, usually Dr. Doom doesn't get his hands dirty in this way, but here, him being all super powerful, he doesn't care, he is superior to everyone. Not only a great Dr. Doom story, but a great Fantastic Four story. And now, number one is, The Ritterous Return of the Red Ghost, Invasion, The Son of Dr. Doom, When Titans Clash. Oh yes, the greatest Dr. Doom story ever was in Fantastic Four, issues 197 through 200. At the start, Dr. Doom has captured the members of the Fantastic Four, locking them up to complete his master plan. Doom's plan is to give his so-called son all four powers of the Fantastic Four. Because of Dr. Doom's plan, he takes the crown off his head and places it on his sons, the new ruler, so that people think Latveria will change its ways. There is a lot, and I mean a lot of great Dr. Doom moments here. One is him not wanting to confront how he secretly hates himself and being ashamed of his real face. It destroys Doom on the inside that he has to fight, and eventually kills this son he made. Alicia is in this story and does something super important. Even though Dr. Doom is the Fantastic Four's greatest enemy, she says that even though she hears about all the evil that he's done personally while touching Dr. Doom, that she says and feels that there is a good man there, a sensitive soul in front of her, but he's been torn and twisted into some supervillain. One thing that comes back to real relevance at the end is Dr. Doom being ashamed of his hideous face. But even with that, and even with the Fantastic Four captured, he puts it all aside for the good of his country, Latveria. At the very end, Mr. Fantastic manages to blind Dr. Doom, making maybe the last thing he will ever see is himself completely destroyed in rags and exposed with his ugly face. At first, it looks like a ridiculous way to fight Doom, but then realizing that Victor Von Doom is a narcissist, and it also revolves around his face in the story, it fits. Dr. Doom is such a great character. Yep, this is my pick for the greatest Dr. Doom story of all time, and had everything that many know and think about Dr. Doom and great moments with the character. Obviously, Dr. Doom is one of the greatest villains ever, but he can also be a great supporting character. One of the greatest media appearances of him was in the 2000s Fantastic Four show and in the episode 63 of Spider-Man Taz, and moments from the episode with Doom being superior and doing good things for his enemies, just for the heck of it, are my favorite Dr. Doom times ever. There's a lot more to Dr. Doom than just his genius inventions and his powerful suit. He's also the leader of the country Liberia, sometimes a father and even sometimes a hero, which we just saw, especially in the last story, in, my, in the greatest story. There's so much to the character that I think he deserves his own solo movie someday. It is always a bit surprising to see someone like Dr. Doom be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a physical fight since he looks like just a normal-sized man. I remember in the cartoon Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes where he beats up the Hulk easily and the only thing that happens to him is his hood goes down. Anyway, Dr. Doom, well, this was my list on his greatest stories, which also 
coincidentally, were some of the greatest stories in all of Marvel Comics. Thank you all again for watching the video, and have a great day.